everyone, this is Jessica with Planted Southern, and today we're going to be going through what is in my planner bag. Now, uh, this video was filmed on Monday, today is Wednesday, and I'm wrapping up editing. Realized that um, it was not that my volume was off, there was no audio on the video after I filmed it. So if you see any cross blurs or any kind of um, focusing in and out, it's because I just cut stuff out because I was talking about a product and or something and that's what happened. I didn't want you guys to sit there and just watch me flailing my hands around talking about something but not knowing what it was because I couldn't remember. Uh, so currently I'm using an A6. This is my everyday carry. It is my wallet. I normally have one fountain pen. Today it's a Diamond 580 AL in Lava. I have an RFID um, card holder and a coin purse and all of that. I'll do walkthroughs of these uh, for next week. I flip throughs so you can see my new system because I have finally found Planner Peace, y'all. It has been awesome. Um, this is my uh, A5 Chic Sparrow Deluxe, and that has like my home binder and stuff in it. Okay, so this is a, a Create 365 Happy Planner bag. I got mine at Michael's. You can use a coupon. I did. I think it was $29.99 or somewhere around there, and I used like a 40% off coupon. And... Um, what is great about this bag is it is perfect for somebody who wants to have all their planner stuff in one place but doesn't have like an area they can dedicate to planner supplies and they want to have something that they can just grab and go. Um, it's great for like moms that want to take their planner stuff on um, to games or practice or ballet or Anything that they have to just have all their supplies in one bag and grab and go. Um, it's also great for us that travel. Uh, I had actually packed to travel. And this is what all of my planner supplies fit in minus my actual planners. And um, that's where I keep like all my stickers and stuff. So that's where that's at. And... Uh, so it has two zippered compartments that zip all the way so it lays flat. They're very well built, very well made. In this side, it has a two zippered huge bags. I have some scissors. I have a planner band. Uh, this was made by one of the girls. I'm pretty sure she made Sarah made this uh, with stuff that she got at like AC Moore or Michaels. So um, very, very cute, very cute. I also, in here, the pens that I'm getting out are my new pens. I got them from Michaels. I did use a coupon. They are the Faber-Castell Artist Pen, Pit Artist Pen. There's eight pens in here. And uh, they range from an XS, which is a 0 0.1 millimeter, there is an S, which is a 0 0.3 millimeter, an F, which is a 0 0.5, an M, which is a 0 0.7, a B, which is a 1 to 5 millimeter, and I believe, if um, I remember correctly, this is a brush pen. So you can get the small all the way to the flared out thick lines. Um, a 1 to 3 millimeter, which is like a chisel, a 0.5 to 5 millimeter, and then a 1.5 millimeter marker. Um, so they're great. I use these in my bullet journal to uh, mark out my uh, lines and my grids and stuff. So that's what that is for. The pencil that you just saw is a Tool brand, T-U-L. I got it from... Um, Office Depot and I use it to mark out the lines and everything in my bullet journal first and then I go over it with the Pit Artist pen um, and then use that er click eraser to erase the lines. 
Um, and that is just a paper mate ink joy pen, one of the old school ink joy pens. I think it's a ballpoint. When people ask me for a pen, that's normally the one that I give them because I don't like to use my Faber Castells or my Statlers for anything other than my planners so that they don't get um, worn out or anything like that. Um, so if you haven't ever used tweezers in your planner, uh, you're missing out. They're great. I actually saw Anna from over at A Loves 22. She has the cutest planner spreads for the recollection, um, the little recollection planner. Uh, I believe it's a ring binder. But she uses these to, um, to line up like her headers and stuff. And I was like, that is an awesome idea. So, of course, pink is my color. Y'all know that. So, I had to order those. And I use them to lay out my icons, my headers, pretty much anything that my fat fingers get in the way of. And um, they're not for nose, nose hair pulling. My husband saw them on my desk and almost used them. No. Those are planner only, by the way. Uh, this is just a little bag I used to keep him fountain pens in when I'm traveling. The ones that I'm not using. Um, that snuck in there somehow. That is a zebra uh, mechanical pencil. It was really cute. So I bought it the same time I got the tool. And even though the tool was in a two pack. <clears throat> so um, on a daily basis, unless I'm doing something in my planner for color coding or I'm laying down the black lines in my planner, I'm using a fountain pen. I use a fountain pen for everything. I love fountain pens. Love, love, love. And I can't say enough about Goulet pens. I'm no fountain pen expert for sure. But Goulet pens, um, Brian and Rachel and their whole team at GouletPens.com. I will link it down below. Brian does awesome instructional videos um he's the one that i watch if i have a question if i want to know <clears throat> excuse me guys if i want to know more about a certain fountain pen if i want to know what fountain pen is better i check him out and s um, b r e brown for stephen brown i'll link both of their channels down below because they're awesome these are both, this and the previous, are Twisby Diamond 580 pens. This is the AL version for aluminum. Um, if you can see, I know the focus is horrible, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, this pen is all clear, except for the black, Noodler's Black ink. And this pen is all clear, except for the ink and the orange parts. The orange parts is what is aluminum, what makes this pen a special edition. And why they call it the Twisby Diamond 580 AL in Lava. That has diamond blaze orange ink, by the way. Um, that pen is my favorite. Smooth Rider. But this is a Conklin Duragraph pen. And it is one of my most uh, loved pens. I love to write with this because you can get some flex out of it. I like to do my headers with this pen. Um... Right now it has a, a diamines, a starry night, I believe, or late night, long night. I don't know. I'll link it down below. Not that you can see what color ink it is. So if you want to know what color ink it is, comment. I'll let you know. These are my two everyday carries plus this one. Makes three. I use them on a daily basis. Um... If you want to get into fountain pens, but you don't know, you don't want to spend a, a lot on a fountain pen, but you want a good quality, I would highly suggest this Twisby Safari, I mean, I'm sorry, Lamy Safari or the Twisby uh, Eco, which I will show you next. But the Lamy Safari is a great writing pen. It is very, very dependable. Um, you can use cartridges. Uh, Lamy cartridges. This is a uh, violet cartridge, which is only available in a cartridge form, not a bottled ink. Um, but it takes a cartridge or a converter, which you will, the Lamy converter you'll see in another pen in a, a few pens later. Um, but you just pop in a cartridge and go. It's under $30. 
This is under $30. It's a Twisby Eco. Um, same concept except the entire pen fills with ink because it is a piston filler pen. And this has a J. Airbond ink in it, but I can't remember which one. It's a gray. This is a cross pen. Um, I got it from Office Depot, so I bought it local. I did not order it. It is um, a proprietary cartridge pen. Uh, you can only use cartridge brand cartridges. What am I? What did I say? Cartridge brand, cross brand. You can only use the cross cartridges in this pen. It's a great writer though. It's my smoothest writing pen. It is a medium so it lays down a lot of ink but I do use it. I love this pen. Um, this is a Jin Hao 159 and uh, if you like a chunky heavy pen um, you need to buy this pen. One, it's only $12 and some change. So for 13 bucks, you can get this pen. It comes with a converter. That is not typical. Normally pens do not come with a converter. And it's a smooth pen. So you should try it out. This is a Twisby Mini. I got this pen to use in my A6. So that I could like have a little pen with me. The Also the only other reason that I bought it is because it twists to post. I mean to uh, cap, but it also twists to post. So when you post it, your pen cap doesn't go flying across the car and um, it makes it a longer pen. It makes it like a full size pen. So I really like this. Again, it doesn't hold a huge amount of ink because it is a, um, a mini, but it does hold more ink than say like a cartridge pen. This is a cartridge converter pen. Again, this is a Monte Verde uh, Artista pen. It's a demonstrator. It is pink clear. So you can see all of your parts. I love it because it has a clear feed. So it looks so sleek and cute. And if you get anything uh, that has a bright pink uh, or an order from the shop and on the um, receipt, I wrote a little note to you in pink ink. That is the pen that I used. This is a, another Lamy pen, just like the Neon Coral Safari. Uh, this is a Lamy Studio pen, and it is a cartridge converter pen, proprietary. It only uses Lamy, um, and it has a green ink in it, um, diamine, but I love that pen as well. Very dependable. Now, if you don't know if you like fountain pens or you've tried fountain pens and you don't like them, but you love the concept of being able to change out your inks, this is a great pen. This is a Noodler's Conrad Rollerball pen. One of the girls in the group had one and I tried it out and I had to buy my own. It is a Rollerball, writes just like an Inkjoy gel pen, but uses fountain pen inks. So you can get a ton of them. They're only $20 and you can fill them with any fountain pen ink, you know, change it out every day if you wanted to. So those are my fountain pens. Now on to these. Those, um, these are my Statler collection. These are the pigment liners. They have um, a 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0.5, and 0.7. They're just like the Faber-Castell pens. I just haven't used them yet a lot. Um, but I have used them some and I love them. Darker ink than the regular uh, fine liner pens though. So that's why I bought those. Uh, these are my color pencils. My uh, color coding system y'all. That is my fine liners in a .3 millimeter and this is the 1.0. I actually gave away to my mom all of my flares because these um, I like better than a flare. They are more clear. They have a clearer um, right to them and they also match my color coding system to the T because they're Statlers. The other pack that I pointed out earlier was just one of the spring limited edition blends or packs, colors of ink. 
So in that one side, you could pack everything you're going to need. You wouldn't even need another planner bag. But there's another side. <laughs> so in this side, there is room. Um, I put my planner on this side because to get it in the clear spot on the other side, one of the zipper pouches, it messed with the tabs. I didn't like how it fit. So I slide my EC in here. Um, you have these two uh, zip top bags. So anything you want to be able to easily take out. So your pens, your um, stickers. I've had stickers in here. Um, paper clips. Anything. They Velcro into the side so you don't have to worry about them falling out as soon as you open the bag. Um, but these are awesome. I, in here right now, you'll see I have some Sharpie pens to write on washi. I have my Inkjoy gels, uh, some friction pens, which I don't use. Long story as to why I don't, but, and there's a tropical collection of um, Paper Mate flares and some uh, friction highlighters and a Jelly Roll white pen. But that's all that's in that case, and that was it. So I hope that you liked this video. Um, I'm going to do a flip through of my Erin Condren later on. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye.